Oh look, a new toy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Getting ready to set up a new toy here. So I figured I'd show you what we got. Going to improve the shop. So a lot more stuff we can do with this. In bam little lathe, mini lathe. Seven by 14 Grizzly. I've had this a while. I had it in another building, got a little bit of moisture on it, but nothing bad. I'll take some steel wool and oil real quick and clean it. And I'll get my handles and stuff all on it. You know, I got some that looks about like this. They're all in the box right there. But what we're going to do, we need to turn these washers down for the Alice Chalmer Predator Project. So, seen the last video, or maybe the last video, depends when this goes up, but uh, told you I was going to cut the outside edge, put them inside that pipe, line that shaft up. So, that's what we're going to use the lathe for right here. So, I'll get it cleaned up, set up. Put the knobs and everything on it, get it, make sure everything works. And I'll bring you guys back and we'll turn it on and we'll play with it. So, see you here in just a bit. Hey everybody, welcome back. Got her cleaned up and polished up best I could real quick. And let me show you what we got. Pretty nice little machine. I played with it just a little bit. Make sure everything works. Come on. Uh, I'm not going to tell you how to use this because I'm learning, but basic, you know, forward, reverse, you got variable speed here on your RPM with digital display. And, you know, you got low and high back here. And it'll give you the, somewhere I've seen the RPM ranges with low and high. Huh, I've seen it somewhere earlier. Oh, well, anyways... Well, uh, what we're going to do, losing my mind, I'll find them in a minute. But anyway, I got this, and I got this measured, inch and a half inside, 1.6, just a hair over inch and a half, 1 point, mm, here, I'll just, I'll just go for it. inch and six hundred thousandths so anyway i'll turn that back off but i'm gonna get that washer mounted up here real quick and this is the cutter that come with it so i'm gonna try to get in here and cut this washer down and ah here we go don't you hate it when you do that stuff but anyway i'm gonna put it on like this and get it tightened up. I'm gonna try to do it one-handed, but you know, this is pretty nice. You just gotta turn it off, turn it back on, but you got your display set there, but we're gonna put this on, bring this cutter in and stuff, and we'll get started on it. So let me turn that back off. Off. Now I'm learning I'm green. This first one I've run, so, but I knew this was something I'd use all the time once I got it. And I got a really good deal on this thing, so I picked it up. And hopefully I can get you a good angle. I'm going to set you up, and I'm just going to play. I'm not going to tell you how to use it because I'm learning. I don't know either, so. But hopefully I'll get this cut. And what I want to do, you can see how much bigger that actually is. And what I want to do, I'm going to cut all that excess off where that washer will sit right down in here for the shaft. That one inch shaft I got, so beauties of a lathe. But that's what we're gonna do. So I'll set you up and I'll get all my stuff gathered up real quick and I'll turn the camera back on and see you here in a minute. <sighs> all right, everybody, hopefully we can do this. Got my safety glasses, so. Let's see what we can do. Set this up. Get this thing spread out. That washer good and tight. Kind of excited. All right. Maiden voice. Get this in position. Cutting. Ooh. I'm not work too well. 
didn't have it tight enough or something there. Like I said, I'm learning. So you're learning with me. All right, let's turn her back on. I ain't gonna guarantee my cutter is the best in the world either. There we go. After it jumped out, I didn't have it flushed. Got it flushed now. Yeah. Hopefully it'll get it. Bring you back. This is a little boring. I'll turn the camera on in a minute. Hey everybody, a couple days later. So, just so you know. But welcome back. Uh, let me tell you what's going on. I did a lot of learning. <laughs> so, but this is awesome. I do like it. And this is going to be very beneficial in the shop. Let me turn that off so I don't mess with the camera. Oh, come on. They get a little light or something comes over you can see this is a little dark but i ended up going to harbor freight getting a flat cutter and i don't know if this is right or wrong but i did it i know it's dangerously close but i brought that in where that's flat and got that washer set up and trimmed it down and i used the one that come with it it's pointy but it's on a bevel even when you switch his head around and i did move it from last time i was in here but this works real good with the washers but i i mic'd it out got it with this cut me a groove and uh cut me a groove and then i took the flat one just kind of like this right here hopefully the camera will pick that up but hold on but see i come in with that flat one hopefully you can see that with that flat cutter and went right against that went all the way down to my mark that i marked with this and that worked out beautiful absolutely beautiful and I couldn't use my inch and a half pipe. I had to go with two inch because the way the way this washer was set up with an inch and a half, I had to turn it down too far, and I was getting into this dangerously close. I didn't like it. Uh, this I still had quite a bit of room, so I wasn't too worried. So luckily, I had a piece of two inch in the scrap pile. So I went and cut it off the old loader that come off the H. Went and dug around out there. But. Anyways, it is awesome. So this is going to be great in the shop. I like it now that I've played with it and got used to it. But you ain't going to get very far with the one cutter that come with it. You need to order a set. And there's a lot better ones than Harbor Freight. But I wanted to do this today, so I'll run over there. It ain't 20 minutes or 30 minutes from here. So I went ahead and picked them up. But check this out. I'm quite proud. My first piece here. Look at this. Ah, oh, fits in there like a glove. Get over here where you can see a little better. Look at that. That is awesome. And that center there, I'm gonna have to take a, I'm just gonna take a file to it. It don't need just a little bitty bit. Just kind of clean it and that shaft will fit right through there. And I'm gonna put one, trying to do this one handed, but one about here. And then that hub's gonna go down the center and I'll get the depth right. And everything will be centered, balanced, and ready. Yeah, I got my ice boxes in for the incubator. <laughs> but anyway. We'll get the uh we'll get it all ready for this b right here you know because this is going to go with the shafts and the pulley and everything right there so that's the scheme i gotta clean this up too but it did fit i mean that's awesome so 
incubator project coming up. But anyways, I'm excited. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of potential there. So even though it's small, I mean, we can do, because I'm building more of these tractors, we're going to need more of these. So this is awesome. But anyway, I will, I'll try to get some better lighting in here and we can see it better, but I'll, I'll show you the second washer I have to turn. I'll set it up where you can actually see it. I didn't, this was a learning curve and I just shut the camera off and tried to figure it out. And I did. So I'll set it up for the next one. So hang on, I'll set you up and see you here in a bit. Hey everybody, we are back. All right, what we're gonna do, let me get a little light in here on the subject. Hold on. This really does help. I've gotta get a light up here, but anyway, got the washer we just turned. And here's the new one. I just tightened it up in the lathe and the chuck here. So it's pretty close, but this will give me a, a match. Hold on, I'm trying to do all this one handed. But I'm gonna mark this with a marker all the way around and then turn it a little at a time and check it with my mic so anyways get that done i'll set it up turn it on kind of run a little bit let you see it and we'll go from there so hang on set you up and see you here in just a second all right everybody let's play shall we hopefully <sighs> Double check that and I just stuck it on there. Ugh. I got it marked. Tighten that up. Like I said, so far so good. And we are ready. Get this in position. Let me show you this too. Kind of what I'm gonna do here. So hopefully that light ain't blinding you, but it's dark without it, but Anyways, we're going to take this, move this closer to the workpiece, and take this, and I'm going to come out. Hopefully you can see that. And then just walk this back. All right. That'll get me right on the edge. I'm going to keep the edge to the edge here. So, and then what we'll do, we'll just come in a little bit till it touches, and go down till the ring's gone and start checking it with that mic. So that's the plan anyway. So we're going to turn it on and let's get started. Just see what we can do. Hopefully that's good. So safety first. These are actually safety glasses. Cause that stuff comes off and flies at you and it's loud. All right, let's go. So far about 680 or so about where this line start cutting. Just like that. Get it in, just slowly walk it in there. the gist of it this little bitty lathe it's really hard to get that thing tight and i wasn't even crowding it but anyways i'll go ahead and turn this down and get in like i said the, the washer's kind of cut at a little bit of an angle too don't help but anyways i'll uh finish it up bring you guys back and we'll check both of them but like i said you just get this set up and i'll just slowly ease it in so i'll give you the gist of it but hang on get it done and i'll show you the rest of it so see you here in just a bit everybody back got them done show you what we got here i am super super excited my second one turned out a whole lot better than my first one there was a first one i kind of 
a little bit beveled, kind of marked it and got in just a little bit, but it does fit, fits snug. So, but this one, this one fits snug. It's all nice and neat in one turn. And bam, it's even snugger than the other one. Kind of hard to do one-handed, but it does go in and it fits tight, which is what I wanted, so. Anyways, my pair may you can see it a little better, but. There we go. I'll have to just tap it in a little bit with a socket, but I mean it's good and tight. So that'll center my shelves up. Like I said, we're going to put them inside about like that. And then that uh, hub will go on the end. I'll get it centered up and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's the plan to make Predator Powered Alice move. So. This lathe, I love it. Now that I'm getting better and learning how to use it, first time I got a little frustrated on that first washer, which typical learning curve. You always get a little aggravated the first time you do something. But. So definitely like this a lot. So another tool in the arsenal of the shop. We can do more stuff with this lathe and I love it. I'm so glad I bought this a long time ago. I am thrilled. And we're definitely going to be turning down more washers because we've got more tractors to build predator engines. So, anyway, I know this wasn't a real great video, but obviously I couldn't tell you how to run a lathe. This was my very first time and I was learning. This is just kind of a, you know, growing with me, kind of lets you see what we're doing as I'm going and playing and learning too. So, hopefully you liked it. You know, it was a video. But, anyway, we'll get better and better and I'll do more videos on this. So, let me know what you think. Comment below, you know. And I'm going to call this video the end. I'm done. So before I start running. So as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. don't cost nothing. Hit the bell when you do. And you'll get notified of all the lathe videos, tractor builds, farm videos, all that good stuff. Everything upcoming and all that good stuff. So I guess that's it. So as always, like and subscribe. Catch you on the next video. Bye.